Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will see about component injection in our next JS. So till now we saw about layout.js, page.js, which are reserved files. But now we will try to create our own React components or server side components. And we will inject that in our layout.js or page.js wherever it is required. So let me quickly go into the another slide. So here I'll create a header component and I'll try to inject that header component in our layout file how to do that let me go into the visual studio code and what i'll do is instead of creating something in our app app is normally used for layouting and pages stuff but not for components so if you want to configure all the ui components then you can use a new folder that is nothing but components you can follow any structure this is a structure which is given by next year so i am following to use that standards so inside this components i'll create a folder called as header and inside this header i'll just create a file called as header.js and let me make it as capital letters and hit enter because it's a component so rfce this is a snippet which we can use for creating a react component and i can just remove this react now i'm exporting a default header component and save this first i'll try to inject this so this is a normal component which is given by this is a normal react component which we have created and it is by default a server side component so it will create a server side content so now let me copy this and use it in our layout.js whenever you want to use that inside your layout.js you have to use it as a component itself that means as a html tag so for example if i want to use header i can use something like this and save this now let me import this from the components and if you see the import it has at the rate component slash header slash headers this at the rate will target our src folder so it will only target the src inside the src it is going into the components it is going into the headers folder and then it is fetching the header.js and now what i'll do is i'll just copy this whole content and put it over here instead of using the header component directly so now let me remove the unwanted divs and let me save this let me go into the layout js and i can just remove this and also we can remove the unwanted code save this now let me go and see what is the output over here we are seeing a problem unhandled runtime error that is link so whenever you don't import something you will be getting such things and here we have to import something called as link so let me save this now you are able to see the say about route products and you can see that route has been working the same way how it is in the layout js and when i click on dashboard it is going to dashboard so the routing is properly working and whenever you want to inject some content you can use this particular components in your layout.js or page.js as usual however you used in your react components or how to inject the react component in the same way we can inject our components in our next as well so why i am saying this as a server side component so let me go and inspect this or view page source if you see the page source you will have that header content as well let me see that you have a link and let me go with something like a dashboard and you can see whatever we gave it has been converted into href by nextjs itself and it is showing here so that is how the server side rendering will happen and whole code can be visible which is easy to use for search engine optimization and it will improve the seo so now so that's how we will inject a particular component which is a normal component in our next js and now the problem is whenever we are navigating we are not able to know the active part so to know that active part we need to add some css so before adding some set of css to this particular components let's let's understand how css works in next year, how css works in next years so that's it about this video if you like my explanation like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you